Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about auction weekend. Guys, it's January 2019, kicking the 2019 year off and we have the big auction weekend this weekend in Scottsdale, Arizona. So January 17th, 18th, 19th and 20th. You have the uh, four big auctions that I watch that are kicking off in Scottsdale. You have, of course, Barrett Jackson. You have RM Auctions. You have uh, Gooding & Company and you have Bonhams. And uh, these are some really awesome auctions. You can watch these live streaming uh, on the web uh, as opposed to watching it on TV with commercials and stuff. And just they stream it all day long and you see the cars that cross the block. And you can go to their websites and, and you know, do a search for any particular car you're, you're interested in maybe seeing. And uh, they'll give you the lot number and you can just you know, wait and see what it does. Um, so I like to watch these auctions. You know, it's good for me, for my business to kind of gauge and see what's happening uh, in the beginning of the year, so maybe that'll gauge what's going to happen for the rest of the year. Um, so for someone who has a business like me, it's, it's pretty, a no, pretty much a no-brainer to, to watch these things. If you're a casual, uh, say, classic car owner, or you are a Volkswagen owner, and you kind of want to see what the values are of these cars, it's always good to check them out and kind of compare and contrast maybe what you have. Um, I knew a, a lot of people will watch these auctions and they'll say, well, that, that Beetle or that Chevy or whatever went for that amount of money. I have the same car. Holy cow, I can get that for my car. Not, not necessarily. And, you know, I've done, this, uh, I've done videos on this in the past. And, you know, you can kind of gauge that, but you, got, you do have to do your homework. Uh, and and you got to understand that a lot of these cars that do cross those auction blocks are pretty high end. Um, especially the ones that I've seen at Gooding and, and RM and Bonhams. Uh, they come in at a pretty high end. I've been to Barrett Jackson and a lot of the cars, they're exceptional, no question about it. Uh, but when I've gone and actually walked through the car corral, um, I would have to say that, you know, just like anything else, you know, when it's on TV with lights and such, it, it looks a hell of a lot better. Uh, so, so a lot of times you get up and close and personal to these cars that are not as nice as you think they are. Um, but nevertheless, most of the cars that do cross auction blocks, uh, like in this caliber, are, are pretty well put together and pretty high end. Um, so it's just a great gauge to go check them out. There's some, uh, there's one uh, auction in particular that I am watching. It's on RM Auctions. It's for a 1968 Beetle. Go check that out. Go to RM Auctions. I think it's rmsotheby's.com, and check that out. Uh, 68 Beetle. Really curious to see what this guy, what this car is going to do. What this guy is going to do with this car. Um, it's uh, the numbers are pretty. Pretty astounding. Uh, so I'd love to hear your comments uh, below in the description or in the comment section below. Just leave a comment and see what you think. Uh, but uh, it's really cool. It's exciting. I think RM, uh, Gooding, and Bonhams, they kind of cater more to the European classics. You see a lot of quirky cars, exotic cars, really rare cars that cross those blocks. Uh, I mean, just amazing Packards and Duesenbergs and things like that. Um, Barrett, I like Barrett a lot. I go to I go to Barrett Jackson pretty much every year in West Palm Beach uh, when it comes around in April, in Florida, and uh, they cater a lot to muscle, but they have done some huge sales for Volkswagen. I mean, the buses have done incredible there. I mean, I was at the one auction two years ago, and a uh, bus went for two hundred sixty-five thousand. It's just incredible. Uh, so um, it's just it's a good way to kind of gauge. Now, speaking of that, I mean, let's go back to twenty eighteen real quick. And, um, you know, I, I did a video where I spoke about, uh, I thought I saw a little leveling off of pricing. Uh, when you browse the casual sites, when I mean casual, uh, eBay, Craigslist, the Samba, you know, the online listing sites, um, I saw Beetle prices starting to level off and come down. But, you know, the exceptional restored cars, high-end cars, body off, rotisserie stuff, I saw them go for some pretty good money still. Um, there was an article that was posted recently on the internet. I'll probably try to have the link uh, in the description uh, below where you can read this article where they said the Volkswagen Beetle uh, jumped a good 20, 30, or even 40% increase in, in 2018. Um, he referenced two vehicles that crossed uh, auctions. And uh, two vehicles, one was, I think, an, an oval window convertible, and the other one was an oval window ragtop. And they did very well at auctions, no question about it, but they were exceptional vehicles. Um, and the, the one vehicle I thought was really funny was the, the ragtop, the, the oval ragtop, which was in coral red. I know the fellow who restored that car, he was actually calling me every now and then for tips and tricks on how to do certain things. So I thought that was pretty remarkable. And he called me 
up and, and, and gave me a, an amazing phone call saying how much the car went for, and I, we, were, we were shocked. So, uh, but, you know, exceptionally well-made vehicles are going for that kind of money. Uh, again, you know, when you, when you watch these and you see this, you've got to comp kind of compare and contrast. It doesn't automatically make it out that your car is going to do that. So we see a lot of people that will, you know, list cars for sale at a high price point, and then if it sits for a while, then you kind of know maybe you're a little too high in price. But um, I, it is remarkable that, you know, I'm seeing split window sedans right now for sale on the internet. Um, they're starting at 100 grand. You know, I've seen them hit that point. Uh, these are, again, remarkably well done vehicles. No question about it. I mean, you can eat off them. They're immaculate art pieces. That's pretty much what it is. So well, you're gonna wanna browse that and check that out too. But anyway, just, just a quick video, uh, just kinda get people interested in the auction process. It's always good to have it in the back of your mind to kinda see what your car is, you know, your kind of car, what it's doing on the market, you know, cause there is gonna come a time where you might have to sell the car. You know, the, we always run into rainy days, right? So, uh, you know, it, it happens. And it's always good to keep it in the back of your mind to see what these, what these cars are going for. So, and even before you purchase a, be a, a, a Beetle, or any sort of Volkswagen, you want to learn and just kind of understand the market and you don't want to cut yourself you know, too thin. So, so that's that short video for today. Uh, Scottsdale auctions are kicking off this weekend. It's good to kind of browse them and watch them. Uh, I'm in New York this weekend and we're supposed to get a big snowstorm, so it's a good day to just kind of sit home, relax, and kind of watch these things and browse back and forth and see what, kind of, what the cars are doing. There's Volkswagens uh, crossing on each auction. Bonhams, Gooding, RM, Barrett Jackson from buses, gears, Beetles, uh, you name it. They're, they're crossing the block. Barrett has a bunch of Volkswagens, a lot of buses. Um, I did see that, you know, uh, two good uh, high end Volkswagens that are crossing uh, Gooding. And then, uh, of course, uh, I saw a couple on RM as well and Bonhams. So check those out, see what they go for. It's always pretty exciting. And uh, love to hear your comments, suggestions, tips, you know. Anything you want to add into the uh, comment section below. All right, guys. Take care.